Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, well, we're going over the combos down at the bottom side of the show, right by the stage. And as you saw in the intro, last night they had a concert, Stephen Melanders, Brian Martin, Colt Ford, some other folks. It was an awesome show. We had an absolute blast. And uh, I don't know, this entire, the whole Old Town Rig Down truck show, Nacogdoches, just an awesome place and a great time. If you want to go to a truck show next year, I recommend coming here. This is just a, it's just a really cool show. Um, otherwise, Troy and myself walk around, we're looking at some trucks. We get a lot of cool insight from Troy on his business and some of the custom trucks and, and just a lot of the, just a lot of things going on um, that are pretty interesting. We've never had uh, an in-depth kind of conversation before on the channel. And we also get with Caleb Hammett and he shows us around his truck and talks a lot about his business. It's a pretty neat video, a lot of cool stuff to see. It's a little bit longer than our, our typical videos, but I think you'll really enjoy it. So uh, follow along, it's gonna be a good time. So I don't know who the band is. They just showed up, dead serious. And just and plugged into the wall over well, there. When we go back by. We didn't record. They sound good though. They're pretty good. If I was that good, I'd just show up, plug my stuff in too and just start playing. I'm, I'm you know what? Well, they get over there, if they got a thing, we'll put some money. We'll put some money in there. Put them a 20 in there? Yeah. Hey, everybody on the channel. This is Brian Bell right here. Hey. Hello, Brian Bell. How are you doing? I'd sanitize my hands after you shake my hand because I've shook like 900 hands today. <laughs> Stay clean. Stay clean, brother. We're, take, we're making a YouTube video. We're going to be famous. We're going to be famous one day. YouTube. We're switching over to YouTube. <laughs> so y'all had a really awesome turnout. Yeah. Like, this, this is like no it's kidding. bigger than last year. No kidding. I know you and I talked about this last night, and I was extremely nervous because of the weather. And I was like, surely everybody's still gonna come. Yep. And then they just kept coming today, and kept coming, and kept coming. And we're like shoving people in corners and trying to find spots for them. I mean, because it's what? It's like a little after six o'clock now. We're done Close parking. To, yeah, no, I just, just I just parked the last truck. Yeah. It started at six o'clock this morning. So 12 yes. hours of parking. I'm parking. No lunch. I hadn't ate dinner yet. Child. No water. We need to stop by the hot dog cart. We need to stop by the hot dog cart. So yeah. this guy right here. This guy right here, when I parked him this morning, yeah. he said, well, I didn't get a hotel, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. And I said, well, I don't either. And he said, well, I'm gonna have to leave. I was like, brother, you can't leave. You're locked in. You're, you're here. <laughs> Sarah, should we, should we go over and film the band for a second? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Slowly lead you him on the road. good for high school. They are good. They're I'm pretty. Good. This was their FFA gig. They went to state. They got six places state. That's wow. amazing. I think we'll be buying an album from them in a couple of years. I hope so. All right, so Troy, you're pretty famous and we've been kind of going around and we get stopped every couple of minutes, but we've made it down the backside here and now we're going over the combos. Combo section. Check out the little trailer. That's awesome. You hooked that behind your golf cart. That is freaking sweet. Most custom radio flyer ever. Jacob just got this truck out of the shop. Like this is the first place it's went. Oh really? Uh huh. I don't know this guy. This is my old buddy Holiday right here. 
Hey, y'all. We've been friends for a long, 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 many months of years. Local we'll around here. That's Josh and Shay from North Carolina. I know that guy that owns that truck. You know this guy? Yeah, it's I a know. Pretty nice him. truck. Oh, hey, there's hey. Mindy right there. <laughs> I know that guy that owns that truck too. He must have a lot of nice trucks. And that purple one. And it was a purple one too. Man. So over here, we're getting over to the other combos in the grass. This is uh this is where the concert's gonna be. So the backdrop to this concert tomorrow night is pretty epic. Low key. All Low right. key. This is my favorite truck. This one right here? I love this truck. It's a pretty awesome truck. Don't tell Mitchell that. Well, if you tell Mitchell, he'll be like, oh, that's my favorite truck. He'll be trying to trade you probably. He'll be like, listen, let's trade trucks. He's, I'll take dust in the wind, you can have this thing. I don't know if I'd trade dust in the wind for it. <laughs> favorite truck that I don't own. <laughs> there, there you go. That was a safer, that was a safer one. Yeah, this one's a cool truck. Have you ever truck? Mitchell's. Mitchell's, huh? Right there. Mitchell Bottomley. Have you ever sat, Troy, in those seats? I have, no. He, Mitchell won't let me sit in those seats. So I drove a truck with those seats in it, and they're, they're, they're pretty stellar. Like, they're comfortable. They look like a Lazy Boy recliner. I mean, it's, it kind of is. It kind of is. And Shad carpet. Shad Berry would approve the carpet. He put shag in everything. So we got, uh, what else we got over here? We got. Oh, we got oh. the champ. <laughs> Donnie. The, the champ is here. Hey, you know what? When the concert's going, we got we to gotta use the restroom. We can use Don's. Don has a restroom. He's in got there. a restroom in that truck. So yes. that'd be good. Or we could just go on his tires. <laughs> Don, if there's a, we didn't do it. We did. Listen, Cy, we did not just say on camera that if you need to go to the restroom, go on Don Wood's tires. We didn't say that. We did not say that. Okay. So if people come over here. That, we had nothing to do with it. We had nothing gotcha. to do with it. Don't send them over here to the tri-state section. But what about that fire hydrant you put right between the tires on the drive? Yes, I, I, that's what we need. <laughs> a a fire, fire hydrant. hydrant. Good where thinking. Can we, where can we find a fire hydrant right now? Then we just need a couple dogs. We'll be set. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, uh, tell me about tell me about this 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 so, truck. This is your truck. I've 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 yet this is the first time I've seen it. Okay, so this is of my fleet. This is my favorite truck right now. Okay. I'm, I'm loving this 379X. So this truck's got about two million miles on it. It worked every day. Uh, I bought it from Quattro T, uh, and then we worked in our fleet for a couple of years, and uh, we decided. And oh, it's, okay, so so the driver Newworth, he wanted a brand new truck. Yeah. I said, all right, well we got some new trucks coming in. Not sure why you'd want to give up a 379X, but sure. But he wanted a brand new one, so he got a 23 model, 22, 23, brand new. I could not put this truck back on the road. So we pulled it into the shop, stripped it down, sent it to my friend Heath, and uh, up at Heath Texas Collision. He replaced a lot of body panels on it because it was in pretty rough shape. I mean, it had two million miles on it. It had two million miles. Yeah. I think he almost replaced every bottle body panel on it. <laughs> Cab roof and sleeper roof, most of the hood, the back, whole back of the sleeper, I think the only things we didn't replace was the top of the hood, the doors, and the side of the sleeper. That is the only thing we didn't replace. If you look down this truck, it is, uh, I mean, it is straight and this, as clean as a brand new truck. This paint is just. They done a good job. So then we brought it back to our shop and we put drops on it. We put fillers right there. We put, uh, no, it already, we already painted the black tanks. It, Heath did that. Yeah. We put a little uh, shock box cover. Justin made a deck plate for it. 
We put the fenders on it. He installed some more lights. I like this deck plate Justin built at our shop because it goes all the way through. Yep. All the way to the back. I like this bracket, how it, uh, it molds yes. over that way. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Justin put us some, some half built. fenders on here. And then I've been buying these bumpers, man. I really like these bumpers. They're cool, they're real sturdy. Yep. Three lights in them, hanging mud flaps. We put a bunch of them on trucks in our shop. They're, they're, I'm not sure what they cost, but I like them. But I like them. Yeah. 12 gauge, They look right? good. 12 gauge. 12 gauge. 12 gauge. Yeah. Oh, we, we put these on yesterday. We did. Because we had a professional helping us. <laughs> I am no professional. We had a professional from over at Semi Casual <laughs> helping us with those. I am no professional. We were just winging it. We made them fit though. But we made it, hey, it did require some modification. It did, some modification required. It looked good, look at the wiring, you done great oh, there. Oh, look at that wiring, who did that? I'm professional, obviously. Oh, Justin put, uh, it's all glass lights. I saw that. All glass, everything's glass. So when we do the light show tonight, oh yeah, oh yeah. Also Justin over at Stockville, put a, a 389 conversion Arroyo front end on it. That's why it's sitting on That's the ground. That's why I said. Yeah, single bag. It's got the stance, like that truck is, and with the trailer, like that thing's. Well. Are you gonna do anything to the trailer now? Yeah, no, the trailer is a straight up work trailer. Okay. We just happened to take delivery of some new cattle wagons the other day. Yeah. And this one came in with a black name. And it fit. Black porch light, so I was like, you know what? Let's just take that to the show. Yeah. But as soon as we get back, this will get hooked under a work truck and it, yeah. it'll go to work. How many how many cattle pots are you running now? Uh, yeah, I think we've nine or ten now. Nine or ten now. We're, okay. gonna, we're gonna grow it a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Is it is that is that is that because you're kinda is it, is it is it challenging from the other stuff you're doing? Yeah, it's pretty challenging. Yeah. Um no more money. More work though. It's more work. Yeah. But the drivers like it. Yeah. And I like it. Yeah. I, you know, that's one thing I've always noticed with anybody that's on that, 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 that run this, they have a, they have a different, they stand a little taller. Yeah, they do. You know, they're real proud. Yes. And, and so this, that's why this truck doesn't get any respect. Oh. Sorry, Sorry about that. Sorry, buddy. I almost ran over somebody. I'm not paying attention. This is, uh, Still, I've said it forever. This is uh, when they brought this to Louisville. Uh, this truck, this truck front no to back is just absolutely amazing. So, what you were saying a while ago about the standing tall, you yeah. know, this is not a work truck. No. We never pretended for it to be a work truck. We built this truck strictly for show. It's probably got seven or eight thousand miles on it. Yeah. I mean, it, it went to your show recently, won first place. Yeah, I did. Barely by one point, <laughs> we finally took us all season, but we finally beat the notorious Big. <laughs> Shout out I mean, Zach. I'm telling you, I would, uh, I'd hate to be a judge on any of them oh, trucks man. and be back and forth between. Well, them. the whole time Probably I was one. saying, I was walking around, I was like, "Man, Zach got us. He got us." And uh, and when they announced him second place, I was like. Dang, well, no. who got first? Well, who won first? <laughs> and then Tommy said my name. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, I love this thing though. I mean, I like when y'all brought it out to Louisville. To me, this was this was the top dog. I loved so it. So this one, I mean, it's just it's everything. It's the story behind the truck is is bigger than the truck. Yes. So Dustin was my salesman at Rush, and uh, and we had spec this truck out to make a show truck. And then he passed during COVID. Just totally honest, but really healthy guy. Yep. Like you would have never, he had no reason that COVID would have got him, right? right? I mean, real healthy, not overweight, not old, middle-aged, you know? Yeah. I don't know, he might've been 40 years old, maybe 38, I don't know, he wasn't old. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so then the truck came in and we just basically just let it sit there for a year or maybe more. Cause just, we were like, what are we gonna what do, are you do, do with it? With it? And, uh, and then we uh, we decided we were gonna make a cow truck. Yeah. Because that's what we wanted to do. Yeah. And so, so this is how the cow truck for Massey Motor Freight was born. So we build the truck, we name it Dust in the Wind. So we named it Dust in the Wind, and then we made everything about 
cattle, right? Yep, yep. We bring it to Louisville, didn't win first place, and uh, we had heard from multiple people that why do we have a cattle wagon when we don't haul cattle? I was like, okay. Okay. Well, let's go buy us about 10 or 20 of them. <laughs> it's all so cattle. We, we actually had a half a dozen or so drivers that had lots of experience pulling cows. Yeah. And so I called them and I said, hey, would y'all like to haul cows for Massey Motor Freight? And they were like, well, yeah, of course. So. There it is. There it is. New division. New division. And it's fun. Right. You got to keep things too. I mean, you got to keep things going, right? You got to do yep. something different. It makes it fun. And if you got the ability to be able to do things different when in trucking where everything's always changing, if you're if you're uh, if you're doing multiple things, it definitely it definitely gives you a little bit of an advantage. Let me turn that star light on for you in there. Go check that out. Oh wow. There you go. What's up, bro? Good, good. That is amazing. How many lights are in there, Troy? 3,000. 3,000? So, if the Guinness Book of World Records had a division of For most lights. fiber optic lights, we would win. Because <laughs> we, we have the most on that we and know And you've got to poke every single hole, right? Yes. So every hole is, is like you, you do poke. that by hand. Yep. Look back here. So the leather... This is probably my favorite interior of any truck that's been out. I love this. The tags are awesome. Oh, knocked it off. Get me out of here, messing things up. But the, the interior in this truck is flawless. So it's, as crazy as it sounds, it's pretty much a factory interior. Yeah. We dismantled everything. Dash, ceiling, cabinets in the back, everything. The only thing that's different is the doors because we took the pockets off. Mm -hmm. so, so, so Mike Tatum made this. Yep. And uh, I think that's all. I think He's, this is the, the guy done an amazing job. I mean, it is, it is top notch. So when we brought it to to Peterbilt to the show up there at uh, at the 589 reveal, the yep. Peterbilt guys came by and uh, what's up, Colton? And and they were amazed because they were like, it looks factory. I was like, well, it is factory. It's the factory interior. We just wrapped it in, you know. In leather. Leather. So, in the middle, it's hard to see, but in the middle, the mural on the floor is the highway to heaven. There you go, you can see it now. Oh yeah. Wow. We That's took that awesome. picture off the internet, sent it down to the company that does our wrapping for us, yep. and they, they wrapped it on a piece of aluminum floor, and then sprayed it with a uh, clear yep and there we go it's it's an amazing it's an amazing truck we'll move the def tank here yep so that holds a good bit it's it's yeah you can run for days on that yeah because that goes down up and so then where I, the, you boo the batteries the other side batteries are on the other side okay and that allowed us to put a 150 over here yep and uh i love everything about this truck so we took a set of bub panels that stop about right here, mm -hmm. and then Justin in our shop, he he basically built onto it, yep. so that it comes all the way around. And then on the tank filler, Justin built this, and he built it so that it goes all the way yeah, in, underneath so you, it, so you can't see behind it. Yep. Because at Louisville, as you well know, they like to reach in there. In there. So if we, they can't get in there. You don't have to clean it. Right. So, <laughs> so we relocated. All your uh, airbags, all and your stuff. airbags and stuff. Justin built this little panel right here to cover it up nicely. Same thing with the deck plate; goes all the way underneath. Neat. And I'm going to tell you, like the paintwork on this truck's amazing. When you when you start trying to tape these lines and you're putting another panel in right here and you're doing all this stuff, it yeah. is incredibly time consuming and tedious. And then when you when you make this panel here and you want this line to go this way and you're setting it in place. It is, because uh, we've done it, it is tough. So, so kudos to him, because that's, so that's a heck of a good plus paint job. Plus, if you feel it. You can't tell. I mean, it's just. You're gone. Yeah, yeah. it's all one. So Chris over at, at uh, Rush Peterbilt and Lufkin mm -hmm. painted this. Painted that. Yeah. He's done a he's, great job. He's so good. And the colors are awesome on this truck. Baffin blue. And the new gen I'm 
guessing built the front yep. rear T bars yep. and yeah, all that. That's that's you can look at that and know that you just know you that. know you know it's yeah. theirs when you see it for sure. Yeah, tell they do they do good work. Talladega fenders. So the rumor has it is that you hand polish this thing with just some like you just had some like regular polish and you just y'all just did that in the evenings. Yeah, you know it takes about a day. Yeah, you kind of knock it out real quick. Knock it out real quick. It ain't nothing. <laughs> so we're being smart, Alex. That is a that is a dang. How long did it take them? It took five guys one week. Five no, I'm guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ten days. Ten days. Zach and his whole crew. It took them ten days. That's some. That's some work. I mean, they done every square inch of this trailer. Yeah. So. Now we didn't wash it before this show because this is not show and shine. This is like show up and have fun. Yeah, yeah. It's the best truck shows. Just show we got up Rob Hallahan's truck here. You can't have a truck show without Rob Hallahan. You can't have it. Yeah. You know when it when it so if you remember when this got on the internet and they first did this truck and the pictures popped up and I was like green and orange and you're like I don't know about those colors and then after. Uh, after you, like when I went to 75 and saw it in person, and every time I see it on the internet, I was like, well, it's growing on me, it's yeah. growing on me. And then you, and like after a while, you're like, it looks awesome. Yeah, I but, like it. And he, he did something different, yeah. which is hard to do in these days. Everybody's kind of. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. And I like that he, he pretty much, there's very, very little chrome. Yep. I, li I like the painted tanks. I like the, the stainless straps. It's just enough stainless. It's pretty good. And speaking of which. Oh my God. We got dude. the man right here. I was saying all that nice stuff because he's right there. I know. You're probably Where it is. Well, I was trying to like give you a plug and then you walked up. I know. I should have said over there by the golf cart. I was trying to think of something bad to say about the you truck. can't do that. I was trying. I was like, can we think of just one thing because he's thing. standing right there? Well, I like. I don't dirt. know. There's dirt in the tires. There is some dirt There's in the tires. There's dirt in the tires. Dirt in the tires. Blasphemy. <laughs> I can't believe you come to a truck show and put dirt in your tires. I know. Well, I mean, it's not like it's dirt out here. To, uh, Where did it come from? I tried to drop it in with a crane, but they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let you do it? No. Ah. All okay. right, so now we're on another clip. I got I to gotta tell you something real quick, Troy. We get stopped, and it's usually people want to talk to me, but everybody wants to talk to you this time, which is kind of nice. You're more famous than me. It's okay if they talk to you. But you're more famous than me. Next time you can say, hey, I'm Troy. <laughs> Just take over. Give you a break for a little bit. Oh goodness! So uh, this is Cut's truck. We rode. Uh, we got the pleasure to ride with them down here, and uh, that was enjoyable. They were fun. They were fun to cruise with. You know what I like about this truck? Oh look, we have a chauffeur coming. Oh hey. Oh hey. Uh, I tell you what I like about this truck is it works every day. Yes. I it like does. that. And it's a good looking truck. I really proud like. Of it. I really like a good looking truck that, that you know works every day. Because it, it takes a lot of work to keep one up. To have a nice truck and drive it every single day, it would be a lot of work. Yeah, he has a white floor. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what your model this is. This is a little bit older. It is older. Just say it in the door. Stamp 10 to 98. 98. And I mean, you see what's on the dash? What's it? What's it? What's it read on the dash? Seven ninety eight. So it's probably one point seven. Seven. Yeah, it's easy. One point seven. Easy. One point seven ninety eight. It's nice though. I like the deck plate. I like the fenders. He got his little mini heroes out here. Yep. So he can knock them off going down the road. Because <laughs> that's what I would do. They just have to stick them out there. How are you? Good choice, Mr. Troy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. How are you? Got your little helper with you? Yeah. Got my little truck watcher with me. Yeah. Y'all doing good this year? Yeah, it's full this year. Yes, sir. It is. It is. Yeah, it's full. We, we, Y'all got we, trucks I, up there too? Oh, it's full up there. Full? Yeah. It's, I, I rode up there earlier. I saw uh, Diller had his truck up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's full, full. We had to find places for those trucks. I mean, we're just out of room. Truck? You want to look at some more trucks? You want to look at the trucks? Yeah. Do, you, do you like trucks? You like trucks? 
say yeah. He got shy. Yeah. I do. <laughs> truck. Yes, sir. Thank you. He'll be he'll be in a truck when he gets older. Oh yeah, for sure. How you doing? Thanks for calling us. I'm so this is Zane drives this truck. Okay. And uh, this truck works out on Lease Road in the mud and the rocks and the, I mean every single day. What goes in this trailer? Uh, so you can haul oil field materials, salt water. Uh, water-based mud, oil-based mud, slop, cuttings, anything comes out of the drilling process. You can see, okay. I mean, if, if you don't think this thing works, like, here's all his, here's all his hoses, man. I mean, he's got all his stuff here ready Dude, to work. clean, clean. I mean, he's, he's got... Yeah. I mean, you see how dirty that is? Yeah. All that oil base? I mean, it's, uh, it ain't coming off. Yeah. He, uh, oh, look, we caught him. Look, Mr. Clean Award, look. Oh, oh. Oh, we got yeah. him. We would have lost the white glove competition. We would have sure. lost the white glove competition on that. <laughs> but I tell you what, for a, for a man to be able to work a truck like this and to go clean it up and then come to a show, even, I, it just ain't a show and shine. It's just a truck show. Yeah. But for it to look this good, man, that's it's a lot of pride goes into this. It is. That's awesome. A lot of pride goes into this. Look, I got Mr. Clean Award again. Look, right, look right there. Oh, Point it. oh. Come right here, look. You can see the you dirt. see it in there? Oh, oh. got him, Zane. <laughs> gotcha. He's going to be mad to call him out on a video. How you going to do uh, that? Oh, shoot. We, we got Jacob, hater mate. Let's don't even go around that truck. Just not even look at it? Let's I mean, it. listen, he puts it out on TikTok enough. The whole world's seen the truck. <laughs> I tell you what I like about that truck. Look, you know who that is right there? That's Texas large car. That's Hurricane right there. We've been knowing each other since we were kids. Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, I mostly like this truck because it used to be mine. And it's Lot Right Sun. Cause a lot rides his daddy <laughs> and it works every day and it works that's every really, day yeah yep that's really it i got a lot of respect for a man that, that works his uh that works his truck every single listen day. if you follow if you follow hater made on TikTok, he is always loaded and he's always he going works. somewhere he works every single day i respect that i yep. do you know what and he keeps the truck up it is a nice truck he's proud of it you know because i mean we can look at mine you know a lot right but it's not the same because it doesn't work. Right. I, I get it. Yeah. I, I truly get it. Like, I, the truck's been sitting in a barn all locked up. And we go wash it and we bring it to a show. We leave here. We go put it back in the barn. And uh, and then this one goes and makes 20, 30,000 miles, miles in between shows. Yep. No, I mean, it's, uh, he keeps it up. Yep. So, which one, you got some nice trucks. Which one's your favorite? Is it? This is it one. is, is yeah. lot right yeah so if if anyone's watched any of my stories for a long period of time this truck used to be a lot shorter wheelbase and it was a lot different and uh, and this was the first truck that i ever owned that i could do something to right when i mean do something to i mean like a set of straights i mean just just what i used to drive over the road long long time ago and i used to just dream of getting a set of stainless half fenders and an eight inch straights. Yeah. I mean like literally dream. I was an owner operator of one truck and we were barely making it and I had a family at home and we ran uh, Texas to California back and forth every week. Just yep. hard as you could run back and forth, back and forth. And uh, family's home waiting on me and I'm like, golly boy, I wish I could afford to get a set of straights and uh, never could do it. So then when, when we started Tri-State and we, we started growing, yeah. we had this was uh, number 41. This was TS-41. Okay. And uh, and so we have 40 trucks on the road-ish. You know, mm -hmm. a couple of them, you know, there are always some broke down. And uh, I was able to start fixing on it. And I was like, and so that's why this one's that's all That's why you're proud. Road. I mean, yeah. this is uh, this is the uh, this yeah. is the one that started it all, so to speak, right? Yep. And then you get to go through and do the whole truck. Yeah, we And I mean, the whole truck. Yeah. 
This thing's stellar. I love the polished. Like that's just awesome. I want to do it on ours, but then I'm thinking like, how much of a mess is it going to make in the truck when we go to do it? Ah, they ta they tape it off. They tape it off. Yeah, they tape it off. And we do have uh, covers over the seats. <laughs> well, you got to keep it clean. We got the bright idea that we would get this like. Well, it's light color. What do you call this? It's a. What suede. It's like suede. It's like leather. suede, yeah. And like, it don't matter how clean your hands are. If Anything, you touch it, it picks it up. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this is a. This truck's awesome. That's the favorite. So, uh, how many miles before you got to take this thing apart and put it back? How many miles did you put uh, on this truck? This one has like eight hundred and seventy-eight thousand on it. Okay. It's got a new cat motor in it now. It's a glider. We we uh, we put a. It, it had an old tired motor in it. We put a new one in it. Well, you know, we remember last year we I put the C18. Yeah, that didn't go great. And it made it like three miles, and we rebuilt it. And I'm not bull crapping you on this. This is this is not clickbait. We built a C18. It went kaput. All right. On Friday morning, we. We hooked the service truck, we lifted the bumper up, and we hooked a rope to the with the dually and pulled the truck back to the shop. Right before Matt's last year. Yep. I remember you sent me a picture. And so we towed it back with a rope, no bull crap. We pulled the hood forward and we're like, hey, we got time to rebuild it. We've got another rebuild kit sitting right here, C18. We start did it, tearing did it, it in frame. In frame. Yep. Me, Ricky, Diller, and Little Wayne. We started about lunch on Friday, and Saturday morning, mid morning or so, we're cranking the truck. I'm not making that up. Man, that's like that's like some NASCAR old NASCAR racing days. We rebuild were, it in the parking we lot. You're ready to go oh, race man, on Sunday. We were slinging tools, and uh, and then we uh, didn't sleep. We got three miles down the road again and it kaput again. So we're like, ah, oh, the block. So, Golly. which we knew what it was and yep. and I'm not gonna say what it was because because of why it happened, like that man reached out to us and he more than made it right with us. Yep. Like he really went out of his way. So hats off to that man for making it right. No beef at all, but we wound up putting a six NZ in it and it runs great, it's strong, it's incredibly loud, so much that you need ear earplugs. <laughs> like, I'm not bull crapping you. It is loud. It is so loud. Y'all had it cranked up this morning for, uh, we we're getting everything out. I mean, like, we're in the we're in the shop trying to talk and- It's so loud. The other side of the shop, I'm having to kind of yell. Oh my gosh. So How we're not that? changing it for a C18. So just gonna leave it to six NZ? Yes. Okay. So we didn't know this old boy right here was coming in. And when he pulled in, he thought he was parking over there. I was like, oh no, you parking in the park with us. That's a needle nose. You like that? Oh yeah. I, I do too. They're one of, that, that's one of my favorite style trucks. And to talk to the old guys about them, you had to run them because uh, there's such a small space for uh, air. Yeah. They, they, they'd overheat <laughs> sitting still like way back when. Oh yeah. It's not really radiator. Yeah. And when the horsepower started going up and everything else, Peterbilt started having to make everything bigger. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's really, a, really this cool is a nice. This is a nice truck. It's very You wet. can't find one of these no. that aren't just completely whipped, you know? So to find yeah. one that's nice like this, it's a that was a lot of work. Yeah. There's not an abundance of them out there to like go buy and restore. Not like this. No. I mean, this is probably three years, four years worth of work. Easy. And that's real, that's real gold leaf in there too. That's crazy. Got a stainless deck plate on it. <laughs> Troy, you got some nice units that showed up over here. Hey, for real, can I drive this? Yeah, you can drive it. That thing's cool. I've only had it a week. I don't even have license plates on it yet. <laughs> no, that's hey, a... no kidding. We got JT to come down to wash all the trucks. I was like, well, just do the best you can do with it. And he washed this. I was like, I came back the next day, he washed it, and I was like, 
Holy crap, man. Did you paint the truck while I was gone? <laughs> Dude, JT helped clean our truck up, which he done awesome. And he was like, ah, I had a little bit of time. That dude's awesome. He's yeah, good he at is. what he does. So this is an O2 model with a factory C16. That's cool. This one or this one? This one. Oh, this one's mine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can open it. Yeah, just be careful. <laughs> Where are you going to be the first one to fall? This is an older model one. It's a it's a 2 model. It's newer than what you would think. Because it looks different than the one I was in before. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it, had, it was like big and round right here, and it had a whole bunch uh -uh. of buttons. Like, oh, yeah. to get on the passenger side just to get to the bed. Yeah. So you're big into trucks then? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. My grandpa used to ride, and used to drive big trucks, and I used to ride with him all the time. Oh, nice. yeah. How old but, are you? Uh, I'm 11. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, Nacogdoches. Uh, oh, that's where I'm from. All right, so I'm going to cover the last... Well, a couple more trucks right down here, and uh, these shows are really busy. So uh, after we got on showing off the cab over and stuff, Troy had to go handle some things. So I'm gonna finish catching these trucks, and Caleb's over there, and uh, we'll go check his out. But this POW in my A truck is super cool. Got another cab over. VTI Specialized. This is a nice truck. Pretty cool. All right, so over here, we've got Rico's truck. He was at our truck show. This guy right here, Rico, is awesome. He is an awesome dude. He is the, uh, he's one of those guys that just, um, he's what makes this industry as awesome as it is. He's a, he's got a great spirit. Huh? An awesome truck. He is like always smiling. I think he's doing a video. And just takes a ton of pride in his truck. And he works this thing every single day and it is mint. And it's unique. It's one of the most unique trucks here in the fact of like, you don't see somebody really customize a truck like this a lot. So, <laughs> love that guy being around the shows. He's super cool. We got a couple of Caleb's trucks over here. Um, and you know, Troy was talking about these guys, and how much they take care of these trucks and they work them every day. And you can tell this thing is nice and they're cleaning up on it. But I'm gonna walk over here and talk to Caleb and I'm gonna see if I can get a little ri rise out of them. Since, uh, since it's such a work truck, but we're not gonna tell them that. Caleb, what is going on? Not much. So I, we were, we've, been, we've been looking at all the trucks over here, and I wanna walk around and go over your truck, and me and Troy were kinda talking about it. Well, Troy said that this was one that I needed to show off on a video for sure, just because like Troy's got a lot of nice trucks and they stay in the barn, just brings them out for people to see, and this is another one just like that. Right. It says, doesn't work, just uh, stays in the nice weather. It's fair weather truck. Right, fair weather truck. Fair weather truck. Stay south, stay south of the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> so we're just kidding. He was giving you props because how many miles are on this? I mean, this is. I mean, this is. A, you work this truck every single day. Every day. And it's immaculate. It's, it's far from immaculate in my book, but we we give it the best shot we can. Yep. Uh, but it just rolled over 180,000 on the way down here. Uh, it, I, it, been, I spent three years putting this truck together, uh, tore it all the way down from frame rails, brought it back up. Yep. Uh, originally, the truck was a lot higher than it is, mm -hmm. so we'll start at the front. Uh, did a true, this is still a true 20,000 pound dual steering box uh, front end on the air rod, mm -hmm. uh, and then pulled them, got the cap motor, 6NZ, uh, painted it Viper Red so it matches the truck. Uh, did nearly everything you could do possible chrome on this dude. Yeah. Uh, 
bow covers, bolts, peanut cover, oil pan, harmonic balancer. Uh, I love the firewall cover. So, bought that from a buddy of mine, uh, Jamie Williams, and he had it on Contender. Okay. Which Contender had a uh, ISX, uh, yeah, ISX Cummins in it. Yeah. Well, that's Cat. So. I got it thinking it was gonna be all hunky dory, just gonna slide it in, it was gonna fit. And the back of the doghouse over there was like, no. It was a big no go. So <laughs> I pulled it out, that solid aluminum, uh, re uh, made all that to where it all fits mm -hmm. nice and snug whenever you go down in it. Uh, it doesn't scratch or anything. It's awesome. Uh, had, we, we, we spent about three weeks trying to figure out how to make it fit and everything. Yep. It was such a pain in the butt. Uh, truck was painted uh, up at up in uh, Springfield by Larson Group. Yeah. Uh, painted the stripes on the inside of the hood because whenever I did this truck, I wanted everything to be symmetrical in it. Yep. Uh, I wanted everything to flow inside out uh, and all the way around. Uh, then uh, did 12 gauge. Uh, there's a lot of 12 gauge products on here. Yep. Uh, did the strapless the, breather setup, the boxes. boxes. Uh, body panels, uh, mirror brackets, visor, uh, and then of course we got the Dynaflex pipes on it and everything. Uh, Davis Brothers did the interior. Uh, like I said, I wanted to, I wanted everything to run inside and out on it. Uh, so did the stripes throughout the door and the door jams and everything. Uh, really wanted to kind of do something different uh, whenever we started it. Nobody's done it. Yep. Uh, on the interior, them stainless panels, they actually light up. Uh, oh, that's cool. Where it's all lit up, Haas and everything. All yep. the speakers are backlit and everything. Uh, subs, backlit. Stereo system, it's about 8,300 watts. Uh, so you can hear it pretty good. Oh, yeah. It, it, rock, it jams out. Yeah. Uh, then fuel tanks. We took the fuel tanks, sanded all the welds out of them. Got you the got flush. a split on this? No, no split. Okay. Because uh, all of our trailers we run pony motors on. Okay. Just because I don't like the simple fact whenever you disconnect from a trailer. It makes a mess. It makes a mess. Who likes a mess? Yeah. We already, I already got enough cleaning problems as it is. Uh, the bug's a little messy right now. We haven't got to check into the hotel room, but even back there in the back. Man, that's cool. And then I wanted to try to incorporate something out of my first truck because this truck and my first truck was built in memory of my grandpa. Okay. Uh, he started the company in 1963. Uh, I'm third generation. Uh, my dad, he's over all the excavation. I'm over all the trucking. Uh, my gr grandpa's two favorite colors were red and charcoal gray. So, so that's uh, where the color scheme came from. We had to do the color scheme. Uh, and this truck's named Haas, and the other one's named you Savvy, because my grandpa was always known for whenever he was talking to somebody, after he said something, he'd always ask, do you savvy hoss? And that's, right. just, that's just something that kind of stuck with me, you know? Yeah. I just wanted to uh, commemorate him. He was one heck of a man. Um, he brought this company from nothing because he, uh, during the nights, he would work at the electric co-op during the d yeah. nights. During the day, he'd run a dozer that him and my grandma sunk their life savings into, into. after he got back from Korea. Okay. Uh, my grandma, she was a school teacher, so they didn't really have too much of an income. It yeah. was, they started this company off of a hope and dream and just strove to make it better and heck that's what my dad does that's what i do that's the thing i love about this whole industry is guys like you and just all the people it's about like the american dream and working hard right and and going after like and just just good people yes sir. everywhere you go yes sir like, that's i mean like that's how i fell in love with this so i was years ago you know just the people right so and then like we moved the uh the bunk air ride underneath the yeah. truck. Uh, did all the hand pin stropping, hoss in it and everything. Cause like whenever we did this paint job, I wanted it to kind of be a more of an old school or looking paint job. I yeah. kind of want it. I've always been a fan of a 379. 379 was my favorite truck. So that's why the truck looks like a 379. It has the grill surround, the double square headlights, the OG Dynaflex pops. Yeah. Uh, just mainly kind of wanted to make all that old school and everything. So that's why we added the pin, old school pin stropping and everything. Yep. And then ghosted the, Texas, Texas in state there. of Texas into it. Uh, a lot of people miss that. It's just a really cool little deal. Uh, so whenever I originally ordered this truck, I ordered it 285, and it's the, not 285. It's now. definitely not 285. 
but whenever it came from the factory this pusher was actually about right here and you had that much frame rail hanging off the back oh wow so just rolled all the axles back so that way it's a factory stretch truck yep. uh it's definitely the longest truck i've ever drove mm -hmm. and uh it it took some learning because i mean i've never drove anything over 270 inches what are you uh what are you what do you haul with this mostly uh mostly heavy equipment okay. uh we haul a lot of our own equipment we haul a lot for waste management we haul a lot for john deere uh, we haul any with the, where from regular five axle stuff all the way up to ten and twelve axle stuff. Wow! Uh, and That's probably most, a little nerve wracking to get them. Nah, it's, no, it's nothing anymore. It used to be kind of scary and everything, but just managed through it. And then like uh, me and the guys at the shop, we uh, came up with the fender brackets. We came up with tail plates uh, and all that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean. We, we like to do, we've gotten to where now we do a lot of stuff in-house. Right. Heck, recently this year we started doing paint in-house too. So okay. uh, we're, we're starting to be able to do a lot of stuff ourselves and not being able to rely on people. And then of course you got to get the shiny PDI compounds on the it. Comp dude, PDI makes the coolest stuff. Oh, they do. And they build excellent power, especially doing what I'm doing. Uh, that that power is what you need for whenever you're weighing 154 all the way up to 200,000. You got to have power, yeah. being able to climb hills and stuff. At a, but also be safe about it too, mm -hmm. and watch your motor. And you don't have to worry about temperatures or anything with them turbos, the tuning or anything like that. They make such a good product and a safe product to be able to work it every day as well. Oh yeah. Uh, but this yeah, is free, like this is an awesome truck. I appreciate it. And it was like it was like it was like. Troy was saying, and everybody else, everybody right here knows it. I mean, you take a lot of pride in this thing, and yes, you can walk around and see it. Well, and, and it's not just me. A lot of a lot of the guys that I've got working for me, like Brandon too. I mean, we we all take pride in it. I mean, that's something that my grandpa drove into my head: is take pride in whatever you're doing and bust your ass as hard as you can. Yeah. Uh, and that's what me and everybody that we have working for us. That's what we strive for every day. We wake up, hit our, our feet hitting the floor. Uh, running yep. I mean and we all take pride in our stuff I mean that's why we got some really nice equipment is because uh, God's one God's blessed us with being able to have nice equipment and being able to work every day yep. and uh, and then on top of that blessing us with good good uh, employees that take care of the stuff that has the same mentality as us yeah uh, that says a lot and goes a long way in itself yeah, yeah. it's cool well man Thanks for talking with me. Appreciate it. We're going to go check some more stuff out. Awesome. See ya. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Um, pretty neat. I mean, it's a longer video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really had a lot of fun filming it, walking around, checking out the trucks and kind of all that stuff. Um, again, I can't thank Troy and everybody at, at Massey for um, just putting on such an amazing show. We had an absolute blast down here. Can't wait to come back next year. So remember, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at semi-casualshow. Go to our website, semicasualshow.com. We've got like 40-something t-shirts up there now. Uh, more truck parts are available on there, hats, all kinds of cool things. So uh, we're always updating it and putting more stuff up there. So you definitely want to check that out. And otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next video. Later. Later.